Let's go over to our man, Mr. Fred Ernest. Fred, folks, is the president and CEO of Vista Gold. Vista Gold is an international gold mining exploration company. They do business in Mexico as well as the Northern Territory in Australia. We do happen to own Vista Gold. Uh, I happen to own it, but we also own it inside the Gold Report. Fred Ernest, welcome back to TFNN. Tom, Tommy, good morning. Happy New Year. Good Happy morning. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. We're kicking it off right. We had our man, Mr. Kevin Hinks on from TD Ameritrade. We have you. We have the presentation up, Fred. If you can, if we can actually start, I mean, I know you've done a lot of work on Mount Todd. Um, you know, we get the presentation up here. If you can kind of walk us through uh, where we are at Mount Todd. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, thanks for having me on this morning. Uh, 2019 was a great year for us with regards to the Mount Todd project. We, uh, we completed uh, an extensive metallurgical testing program that had been uh, something that we'd been working on for 18 months. The results of that is that we, rec we improved uh, gold recoveries uh, from 86.4% to 91.9%. It's a huge jump in, in recovery. That's the result of you know, continued work on ore sorting, additional test work on fine grinding. During the year, you know, from our previous study, we saw an improvement in the foreign exchange rate, gold price. Everybody knows what's happened with gold price. And, yes. and the long and the short of it is, is that this uh, allowed us to, uh, you know, report uh, a significant improvement in the project economics. Uh, you know, at the end of the day, you know, we, we continue to enjoy a very strong correlation to the gold price. And uh, with where the project is at, we're now focused on uh, on finding a partner to help us advance the project. Uh, you know, Mount Todd. Uh, you know, if you if you look at the uh, the presentation, uh, I'm going to kind of skip through some of the corporate stuff, but talking about Mount Todd. If you look at uh, slide eight in the presentation, you see a picture of what the project looks like. This is a project that uh, was operated in the 1990s. Okay. Some some uh, you see. Um, you see the old pit, uh, the plant site, the, the tailing storage facility, the freshwater storage reservoir. Yes. You know, this, this is a site that uh, we enjoy great infrastructure. There's been a significant investment made here. And uh, because of that, we enjoy the benefits of things like paved roads to the site, power line, natural gas pipeline, which is really important for us in, in the project because Power is in, in the Northern Territory is expensive, about 30, 31 cents a kilowatt hour. We can generate our own power with natural gas for uh, somewhere in the range of eight to nine cents a, a kilowatt hour. Tremendous savings for us. Um, freshwater storage reservoir. All of these things are uh, allow us to move the project forward without the risks associated with developing infrastructure. And so, uh, so this is a site that. Uh, that you know has had a, had tremendous work done on it. Just to kind of put things in perspective, if you look at the next slide, slide nine, um, this kind of paints the picture of of where our our results from the the PFS that was published in uh, in uh, September fall out. Uh, Mount Todd, as it's designed today, will be the fifth largest gold producer in Australia. That's amazing. It'll have lowest quartile costs. And, you know, folks, uh, the, I, I just want to give the folks a little background, Fred, you know, because yeah. the, you know, it's so intriguing to me that, you know, we've been in the gold market for a long period of time. I have the gold report for 20, 20 years now, right? Yeah. And yeah. When, I, when I met, um, you know, the folks at Vista folks, okay, I met Jock literally like 20 years ago and then Mike. And here's my question, which is so, you know, We've seen, I've seen plenty of other companies, they dilute their shares. And so it's so intriguing, I mean, that you guys have been able to still have cash, not dilute your shares. So talk to me a little bit about that, because, you know, we get a million calls in here all the time, not a lot of calls, you know what I'm saying? That it's really hard to basically get done what you've done without diluting the shareholder. Well, Tom, you know, we're, we're, we're engineers, we're operators. Okay. We understand the value of, of, you know, where to make investments and where not to make investments. And, and along the road, we've been able to very efficiently and effectively advance the project. Yes. On the money raising side, you know, we've been able to accomplish all that we've done without going to the market very often. Um, 
you know, we have just over 100 million shares issued and outstanding. Right. So we have raised some money from time to time. But when we raise it, we try and raise it in, in the best circumstances. And then we shepherd that money. We, we consider ourselves to be steward of that money, and we spend it very wisely. Um, we were fortunate. You know, you mentioned Jock McGregor. Uh, Jock started the company on a path to become a, a, an acquirer of assets and, and to build a portfolio. That's right. Uh, I remember that's when that's that's when gold was at two fifty two and three hundred. That's right. Yeah. Okay. And, right. and during during that, Jock started us on a path where the resources of the company grew from two point one million ounces to eighteen point three million ounces. Okay. And then you'll recall in two thousand and seven, we spun out all the, the all of the Nevada assets into Allied Nevada. Yeah. And uh, that resulted in a, in a in a in a in cash coming into the company. We subsequently sold our share in Allied Nevada. And, uh, you know, so that was cash into the company in a non-dilutive sense. Uh, yes. We subsequently uh, helped create Midas Gold Corp. Yeah. And uh, we originally were a 35% shareholder. We sold part of our interest in, in Midas. And uh, we used that money to help fund our activities. We still own over 7 million shares in, in Midas. Uh, and, uh, and then uh, one of the things that we did that was a little creative is that... Uh, we, uh, when we took on Mount Todd, there was uh, an acid rock drainage um, problem at the site, and we recognized this going in, and we uh, applied uh, you know, just just practice and 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 experience that we had in similar situations, and developed a set of protocols that have allowed us to turn this site from something that was uh, a problem for the community into something that's now the, the poster child for the Northern Territory Government's Environmental Protection Agency on how to deal with acid rock drainage. And along the way, we made a significant investment, but we were able to get some tax credits um, under under yes. the, the concept of research and development. The Australian government okay. has programs to foster R&D and what we did was was so different than what anybody else has done and so so efficient that we were able to recover a significant amount of money, effectively fund our operations for over a year and a half with the rebates that we got from from the federal government. And so that was that was another step along the path. We've monetized other assets. You know, we sold the uh, Guadalupe de los Reyes project. Uh, yes. We're optioned it out. We're, we're expecting one more option payment from that. We sold the Paradona Samarillos project. We recently announced that we'd uh, monetize the royalty that we had on the Awak Mas project in uh, Indonesia. We continue to look for ways to monetize assets and to achieve real value, fair value for the assets in, in, in a way that, I mean, we, we raised money in 2012 and we raised money again in 2016. That just, that just talks to the question that you asked that, that you know, don't go to the market very often. It's it's so impressive. And folks, you can go to uh, vistagold.com. You can see the presentation. Great presentation. Fred, it's always it's a pleasure, of course. Uh, love the education. Uh, look forward to having you on again. Thanks, guys.